You're listening to DraftKings Network. Be warned. The ones who pick up a refreshingly cold drink from McDonald's and people see just how refreshingly cold that drink from McDonald's is, you may create drink envy. Because there are drinks, then there are drinks from McDonald's. For a morning brew that really creates a stir, get any size iced coffee, including caramel and French vanilla, for just 99 cents before 11 a.m. Price and participation may vary. Cannot be combined with any other offer or combo meal. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. All right, if you have not seen Love is Blind to its entirety of the nine episodes that are out right now, I mean. Or if you have no intention on watching it. Correct. Spoiler alert, because we will talk about things that you haven't seen yet. So yeah. there's a spoiler alert. If you do wanna, if you do not want to watch, do not want to listen, just please yeah. make yeah. sure that. If you, if you have no intention of watching like me, just sit along. I promise we'll make it fun for you. Even if you've never watched it, I'll make it fun. Don't worry. Okay, so ladies, where do we want to start? Because there is so much that is happening with all these couples. I don't feel like we talked enough Jeremy. Yeah. Which Jeremy one is Jeremy? Can we Jeremy. start with that? Hold up. Jeremy spells it with an A in there. It's like Jeremy. J-E-R-A-M-I-E yeah. or M-Y? M-E-Y. M-E-Y. Yes. M-E-Y. Wow. Yeah, yeah, so I know a Jeremy with an A as well, but he spells it I-E at the end. No. Yeah. It's Jeremy like Grant? normal Jeremy, but with an A in there. <laughs> Doesn't sit right with me. All right. So let's, let's write this down. Who's going to write this down? I got it. Okay. So we've got Laura and Jeremy. Mm-hmm. We've got Ken and Brittany. Yeah. Mm. We've got Laura, or excuse me, we've got Jimmy and Chelsea. Am I missing anybody? Which one is Megan AD Fox? AD and Clay. AD and Chelsea. Clay. Oh, wow, AD and Clay. Okay. okay, so let's start here. They get out of the pods. My favorite part is obviously everybody, everybody's favorite part where they start meeting other couples, and then you start realizing, oh, wait a second, I was talking to this girl, I was talking to this guy, that's what they look like. Oh, not, not Megan Fox. <laughs> not this is Megan the part Fox. where you're like, love is officially not blind. blind. We they already knew sight. it when they cast entire cast members that are all conventionally attractive people of a certain Whoa. body type and socioeconomic standing. But now you finally get to see each other. Right. How long have they been talking to one another like before this reveal? Couple, yeah, like a week. Okay. Of and solid it, dating. Got you. Right. But and now all the dating is obviously not through the person. Wall. Yeah, it's through right. the wall. And now they're engaged. Everybody's they're engaged, engaged right? to one another. Yeah. Mm-hmm. At this, so you, you like, to propose? To, yeah, to mm-hmm. get out, you got to be like, yeah, this is for life. <laughs> so it's batshit crazy. Everyone is engaged to one another, and they have, they're now like meeting up for the first time. So it's like, okay, now we're together. They spend like a day together, and mm-hmm. then they go and meet everybody. Right. And it gets crazy. They're essentially like a pseudo honeymoon. So mm-hmm. they go to Dominican yeah. Republic. They're out for a week in the Dominican Republic, laughing, hanging out, doing all their things. But there's they, cameras there the whole time. Of course, naturally. Yeah. Duh. So just make sure we were aware. Yes, we know. Exactly, exactly. So we're looking at the cast on screen. If you're watching on YouTube, uh, I don't even remember those people. Ah, uh, I know. Um, uh, I know Chelsea. Oh, there goes Megan Fox. Chelsea. Yeah. Oh, a- oh, Amy and and uh, John and Johnny. Yeah. That's the other one. They're okay. They're they're kind of weird. They're fine right now, I guess. Hello. Who's who's out of the couple of couples that are that we just named? Who's the one to you that you know is not going to work? Oh. um... Jimmy and or Chelsea. Jimmy and Chelsea. Yeah. You oh think my they're God. done? They're toast. Well, he like met her, and it, that's all, that's the part I always like to see is when they like Ooh, yeah, get to see each other for yeah. the first time, and well, he was like, reaction. "Oh, not good." Oh! <laughs> like she lied to me about how she looks and then immediately as they like go out and start meeting other people on the honeymoon he's like very just like blatantly been like that girl is hot like to chelsea not only that he says a phrase in which i'm going to repeat but again not he something you tell your fiance yeah what he said he was looking at ad uh-huh. right one of the other contestants can we scroll up to ad so i can let's see if we can yeah. find ad here but yeah. you, 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 well i'll, I'll filibuster you, yeah. while we find her so she's she's engaged with clay uh-huh. right there there's, there's ad right there all right so ad like walks that. by wearing you know something that you would wear at a cocktail party okay and <laughs> and jimmy turns to his fiance okay and says Damn, she's stacked. Wow. <laughs> Which is a crazy thing wow. to say to your fiance. So then crazy. his fiance like doubles down and is like, AD, like, how did you get that bite? And we're like, girl, You're like, like, oh, this is weird. This guy's like projecting. Then he goes and talks to AD for like for five like, minutes. 
And Chelsea's just sitting there watching him. Meanwhile, so him and Chelsea had only met that day, and he had already asked her questions about Jess, who was the woman that he chose. Part of the love triangle, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. He chose who Chelsea child. over Jess. Right. Mm. And that's oh, Jess. Yeah, I think I heard about this. Uh, Jamel and her husband, Wood, were talking about what's, what would you rather do, date someone who's already been married but childless mm. or date someone who has a child with someone and else? And that was, that was the conundrum yeah. that he you was You should in. add also, the child's 10, so give it like five years. That kid's on its own. It can do its own thing. <laughs> it like that kid, you're already, the hard part's over. Yeah. Kid's 10. Yeah. He seemed unhappy with both options, though. Because he did. both times that the women, like when Jess was like, I have a child, and Chelsea was like, I used to be married, he, you could hear that he was The judgment. Yeah. The judgment. He was, not happy That's about whack, it. By as, the way. as the season I has agree. progressed, we've found out, hey, Jimmy's a bit of a narcissist, yep. and he wants to be kind of coddled by his partner, mm. which is why he didn't want to be with Jess in the first place, because he felt like Jess was going to kind of like challenge him in ways that he wouldn't get Chelsea all the attention was not. Too, right. She has so it's a like, child. help well, me, please, cl- like, let me... Uh, clearly, he's not. He, Chelsea's not going to challenge him if he's talking about this girl over here stacked. Not only that, <laughs> somehow she ends up apologizing to him Back yep. in the back in the hotel room, it was a mastermind. What? Man. Yes, like, it was a mastermind place. I must man. study him. Yeah. <laughs> Galaxy brained the whole time. <laughs> Jimmy's out telling people he's like, I, we are the happiest. He literally said, I know that my relationship is better than all of yours. <laughs> we are we're, happier than everyone. And we're like, no, else. dude, we like, see what you. Are you talking about this is horrible. One of my favorite moments that's ever happened on Love Is Blind was actually sports related. Have mm-hmm. you guys seen the season that takes place in Chicago? No. They go on a honey or um like a bachelor party, bachelorette oh, yes. party the night before yes. the weddings that the production they go to Wrigley, sets don't up. They? The men go to Wrigley yes. Field. They have a private batting practice at Wrigley Field. Oh, the wow. women are on a, a f-ing, like Boat? booze cruise, yeah. which I would have been so mad, first I, of all. I would have rather been on the booze cruise. Well, we would have switched then if, <laughs> if we were both there. That would be really <laughs> weird. But anyways, the guys go to Wrigley Field and one of the guys, like, they're <laughs> they're pitching to them. Do you remember oh this? God, yes. <laughs> this guy, Shane, strikes out. Everyone else, like, hits, like, an easy, like, pop-up. A couple of them hit, hit, like, get hits. He mm-hmm. strikes out and he's so mad and then he goes home and picks a fight <laughs> with, <laughs> with the woman <laughs> He's about to marry. Nice. And I'm like, that guy's just so mad he didn't get a, a base hit on, at Wrigley On Field. national TV. <laughs> also, Everybody knows you suck. At BP, isn't it like literally softball pitches? It's designed for yeah, you to for like you to, you take know. this thing yard? You know. And he struck out? It is what it is. Um, that's my recollection. That's why I would have been on the booze cruise. I, that's me. Like, I, if I'm being objectively honest, I would have been pissed about that and then went been in a bad mood came home I would not have wanted to be your family after American Ninja Warrior (laughs) that night (laughs) American Ninja Warrior was cool it was fun it was it was first or second time well, the second time hurt more for sure. The first time I went and I was like, I've, I've watched the show my whole life. I've never, I've never thought I'd have an opportunity to do it. And someone gave me the opportunity to do it. I don't care what happens. Mm. Like, yeah, I, I failed on the first one. All these people making jokes. I'm like, it, it's not, it wasn't like, it was like a dream come true for me. So I loved it. The second one hurt. Because of the $10,000. Yeah. Because I was like, oh, man. Like, I didn't care about Was he being... actually going to give it to you? Hell yeah, he would have yeah. given it to me. I truth was saying his word. Come on. Hey, I he's mean, the truth. Yeah. Exactly. I guess I'm just thinking of, like, the, all the empty promises Stugatz has made. No. Me. No, that's Shaq. If Shaq had promised it, I know I would never get it. <laughs> Shaq, Shaq still owes me $1,000. He just give you a Shaqaroni pizza. Yeah. Wow. You know what? Oh, hey, Cut it mean, down. Instead of the money, here's a pizza. Lots of pepperoni. Ah, the sizzle of McDonald's sausage. It's enough to make you crave your favorite breakfasts. Enough to head over to McDonald's. Enough to make you really wish this commercial were scratch and sniff. And if you're a sausage person, now get two satisfyingly savory sausage McGriddles, sausage biscuits, or sausage burritos for just three thirty three, dollars Or mix and match. Price and participation may vary. Cannot be combined with any other offer or combo meal. Single item at regular price. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba.